Hey guys, like here. Quick video to show you how to install side step rails on a 2011 through 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I do have an old pair that I'm gonna quickly remove and then I'll show you guys how to install these. Before I do that, I'll show you guys a close up of what you're getting and what I picked and why. And hopefully this will make you help uh, your choices of what to get. And this video will help you guide you through the process of installing, which is actually pretty easy. So let's get started. Ones I got about three years ago now on eBay were about $109 and as you see it's life is over. My tip is the second you see any rust on these things, clean it up, uh, rust oleum or something, paint it over, uh, make sure you know that doesn't get worse. This deteriorated in a uh, matter of a couple months, we weren't paying attention and it just got away. That one is really bad. Um, the other one over here still manageable but we're just gonna get rid of these and we went with something more heavy duty these were about i think 150 160 on ebay tack brand seems to be the best brand out there for that type of money unless you want to spend a thousand dollars um they they are um texture finish so i'm hoping this is going to give it a little more heavy duty finish uh to last longer get a few years out of it i think the warranty is like five years which is great and i already got the bull garden stored here which uh, we love. I did a video on that, so check out the link below. If you wanna see how to install this, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop these guys off and show you guys how to install a new one. Brackets, everything is also uh, texture finished, heavy duty, screws and directions. Let's go. So now we are ready for install. And all you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, 30 millimeter socket and a 90 millimeter socket put a three types of bolts that come with this kit uh the brackets to mount the rails are uh in two different packagings the driver's side has this edge flush here and then this indented and then the passenger side is the reverse so make sure you have the three separated the same with the driver's side rail this is the driver's side and then that's the passenger side and they're actually marked on the packaging and as well as in the manual and just so you guys know this kit excludes these models right here so when buying for your car make sure you get in for the right model so let's get started so you get under the car here and you're gonna see these rubber boots they there is I think six of them so you are skipping the first one you're going to the second spot since I already had rails installed it's removed but basically all you're doing is prying this open and you just pull it right off it's just the rubber boot to close that hole so you're doing the second one you're skipping this next one then you are going right here to the uh, third one I'm sorry fourth one skipping the fifth one from the front and also taking out the sixth one so those are the three spots we're going to be connecting our bolts to so this is basically everything we're using to install one side these are the brackets we're going to put into those holes we just opened up and that's what this will connect to right here so let me show you how that gets done so now we're going to grab one of these inserts and basically you just slide in it into that slot and twist in it clockwise as when you tighten the screws it's going to push against the wall keeping it a tight connection we're going to slip this on so it doesn't fall out or move around these plastic tabs now we grab our bracket and basically we're just going for the large hole and then we have these two little holes here for extra support bolts that are gonna bolt on right here and here. Get our washer. And our 19 millimeter nut.
you're not going to fully tighten anything up just get a decent so it's not moving because you want to adjust everything to the bars and stuff but now we basically get a little bolt washers on both ends Tighten it up, not fully though. And basically, this is the setup. Two little bolts, main support bolt. Once we have everything installed, we'll fully tighten. I am gonna tighten these up a little bit right now, just not fully. And that's what the bracket looks like on the outside. Two more to go, and then we can put the rail on. So all three support brackets installed now. As you see, the flushing is on the left one facing the front, on the driver's side. And now we can get our rail on. You guys can see the rail has spots for two bolts in each location. And all we're gonna do is line this up. Make sure it all lines up. That's why we didn't fully tighten the bracket so you can move around a little bit. And then we're just gonna get our bolts, the 13 millimeter socket, and bolt them right under there. So no magic here, really. Just get both bolts on on each section. Do all three and um then once you have them all and then you can fully tighten those and we'll fully tighten everything back here and that's it guys that's the full install process as you see it looks sweet we're gonna test it and step on it in a second see how it feels everything is bolted up and tight now a couple bolts here like i showed you guys and then those three over here. Sorry. Main one, make sure you tighten that fully and the two little ones. And every couple months or so, you wanna just check on it, they recommend, just to make sure you give it good tighten. But honestly, the last one, lasted three years, I didn't have to do anything. So, yep. Very cool. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. Any questions, feedback, comments below. Check out the video also on the Bulgar I did for the front. I'm also going to be installing a trailer hitch soon on this car. So uh, follow me to check that out. I have other car videos, home improvement videos, phone repair videos, whatever you want to see, reviews. I got it all. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. A quick tip when you're going to be doing the passenger side as you see with the old brackets it's hard to get the screws in here this is the wire harness so you're going to unscrew this screw right here and this screw right there so you can lower the harness down a little bit so you can work and mount the brackets and that's when the harness is pulled down there's actually four there's two more in the middle so just you know or screws that mount it. Just don't forget to put this back on when you install the brackets. Now you have all the room to work there.